what's coming to the body of Christ in 2014 will begin shaping up quickly. In a word, the body of Christ will begin uniting in one mind, one accord, and in the mind of Christ. God's people will become a nation within a nation. A level of disobedience is coming to America. Why? Because Obamacare and the big government laws oppose God and requires that, by law, all Americans sign on to Obamacare. And like the first century believers, God's people will obey God rather than man. What if 200 million Americans and the body of Christ say, no, we're not going to sign on to Obamacare? What is Obama going to do? Come and arrest 30 to 50 million born-again believers or 200 million Americans and then try to put us in jail? This kind of face-off between the big government of our country and the body of American citizens is coming quickly in 2014. The Bible shows this kind of separation in the end times. Global world leaders in their nations versus the common citizens of their nations. We're already seeing this separation between government and their citizens in many uprisings and national revolts taking place in other nations over the last three to four years now. The Arab Spring rising was citizens rising up against their government leaders. It happened in Libya with Muammar Gaddafi being chased out. It happened in Egypt with Hosni Mubarak being chased out. It's happening uh, in Syria right this moment with the Syrian citizens rising up against Bashar al-Assad in his evil Syrian regime. However, in America, the recent uprisings we've seen, for example, are the Tea Party movement. This is good. Ted Cruz's filibuster against the White House and government actions. This was tremendous. Now, most people know that these uprisings of unity against our own government are mostly the conservative, God-fearing people in America. But these rallies and uprisings, like the Tea Party, are forerunner movements in America of what's coming. And in 2014, it'll begin occurring on a much larger and more louder scale than ever. And the body of Christ will begin uniting in a powerful, stunning way and visible to the world. America already had one terrible, tragic civil war, but it took a solid man of God, Abraham Lincoln, to stand up boldly and call God-fearing believers to unite and to come against the abomination of slavery in the United States. And Lincoln succeeded. The same is coming again in the sense that our own United States government now, led by Obama, is an abomination and is a government of socialist tyrants. Obama, Kerry, Hillary Clinton, Eric Holder, etc. But America's God-fearing believers rising together in unity and with God's backing will begin shouting back at our own government in a more unified and resounding voice than ever before, saying to Obama and his government, no, we will not abort babies. We will not turn away from Israel. We will not sign up on a failed government health care system. We will not turn our backs on the homeless and down and out Americans who need help. We will not show disrespect to America's military men and women who have given their lives for our freedom. We will not disregard the Constitution. We will not make friends with America's enemies like the terrorists who run Iran and Syria and who threaten Israel's existence. We will not put our Bible to the side, laws or not. What's the most powerful entity in America today? The White House, big government leaders, Congress, and the lawmakers, the Supreme Court? None of these. The body of Christ is the most powerful and number one force in America to be reckoned with. Why? Because God is for us and no weapon formed against us will prosper. The body of Christ in America has God's power. We've got his strength. We've got his favor and his anointing. And when we say Father God in the name of Jesus, we've got clout on this earth. In 2014, there's coming a powerful, stunning unity in God's people in the United States. And the whole world is watching America now. It's the body of Christ's hour here in America. It's time here in the USA for God's people to unite with one voice, one mind the mind of Christ, in one accord, as an upright and Christ-like united people. And according to the Apostle Peter, we are about to become in the United States, God's people, quote, a holy people, and a nation, meaning the body of Christ, 
within a nation. Everything I'm describing here is already a matter of first century Bible record and occurred in the body of Christ among the first century disciples. Civil disobedience, great unity, tremendous bonding amongst each other, prayer, being in one accord, not a needy one among them. God's people are going to unite in America in the days ahead and in 2014. And to use President Reagan's words, we are about to become that shining, sparkling city on God's hill who are divinely favored and which is a self-sustaining body of believers loyal to God and loyal to each other. What's coming to the body of Christ in America starting in 2014 matches 2,000 years ago when believers in Jesus and Jesus himself were pushed out of town and rejected by the government of Israel. So the body of Christ found themselves off into a wilderness, so to speak. But what did they do since the Lord Jesus was standing right in their midst? They gave all that they had to Jesus, five loaves and a few fish. And what did the Lord do with it? He blessed it and gave it right back to his first priority, being the household of God, the body of Christ. And there wasn't a needy one among them. And there were even 12 baskets left over for the homeless and other needy persons passing by all because of the united body of Christ who were in one mind and in one accord plus they were all focused on the Lord in their midst who performed the awesome miracles and met all of their needs. Israel will also be a prime witness to the mighty hand and the presence of the Lord Jesus in the midst of his people here in America.